How are you when you go to a shop to bring something like potato, rice of 3 kg or 2 kg? Then you have told the shopkeeper, give me 3 kg rice or 2 kg potato. What you have seen? You have seen that the shopkeepers give you 3 kg rice or 2 kg potato by taking measure in a balance. This type of balance is also present in chemical laboratory also. This type of balance is known as chemical balance. So, what is chemical balance? The apparatus which is used in chemical laboratory to take weight of chemical substance properly is known as chemical balance. That means if you want to measure any chemical substance properly or if you want to prepare a solution of definite concentration then chemical balance is a required apparatus. By using chemical balance, you can measure any chemical substance or you can prepare a solution having, having definite concentration. Actually, chemical balance is of two types. One is chemical balance. Second one is electronic digital balance. Paul-Fungi balance and Chartorius balance are the example of chemical balance. Now you have a question. What is Paul-Fungi balance? 
Polybonky balance is the balance by which you can measure a chemical substance up to 0.001 gram. I repeat again. If you want to measure a chemical substance up to 0.001 gram, then you can calculate it by taking Polybonky balance. So, uh, we can uh, we have an idea that by Polybonky balance we can calculate um chemical substance having minimum weight. Polybonky balance there is a scale. The scale is attached with a pen. And in the left side of scale there is 0 and right side of scale there is 10. This 0 to 10 division is again divided by 10 small divisions. So there are total 100 small division. This is the structure of Polbungi balance. But if you want to measure any substance by Polbungi balance, then two essential word is rider and rider constant. I know. Now you want have a question that what is rider and rider constant? Let's discuss about rider and rider constant. Rider is a platinum or gold made wear which can metallic wear which can easily move on the scale. Now come to what is rider constant. For each Rider, that means for each Polbungi balance, there is a constant uh, numerical value. When the rider moves one division in the scale, then the change of weight which is take place is known as the, is known as the rider constant. Okay, that means just think that if in the scale, rider moves one division, then the change of weight is known as rider constant of that balance. Now, I want to calculate this rider constant with you by a calculation. Just look at my calculation. Now students, I want to discuss with you about how you calculate the rider constant. Number one, if the weight of rider is 10 milligram, number of divisions on the rider beam equal to 100. Zero is at the middle. This is a point that zero is at the middle. Then, rider constant equal to 10 by 100. 10 is the weight of rider, 100 is the number of divisions. So, the result is 0 0.1 milligram, that means 0 0.0001 gram. Again, if the weight of rider is 5 milligram, beam divisions equal to 50. 0 is at the middle. Here is also 0 is at the middle. Then rider constant equal to weight of rider that means 5 divided by 50 beam divisions. Milligram equal to 0 0.1 milligram which is 0 0.0001 milligram. So uh, we can calculate rider constant by dividing weight of rider by division of beams. Now if, but if the weight of the rider is 10 milligram beam divisions 100 0 is at the left. So you have observed a change that is 0 is at the left. Then rider constant equal to 10 by 100 into 2. So it is 0 0.2 milligram. That means 0 0.002 gram. I know you have a question that why we multiply this one 0002 gram. I know you have a question that why we multiply this by 2. Because in this case, moving one division to the right, reduction of the weight on the left pen equal to two division. That's why we, to calculate rider constant in this case, we multiply the value of uh, 10 by 100 into 2. But in our previous case, we have seen that 0 is at the middle. That case, to con calculate rider constant, we should divide weight of rider divided by beam division. So students, note that if 0 is at the middle, then we should, cal to calculate rider constant, we should divide weight of rider divided by beam divisions. But if 0 is at the left, then to calculate rider constant, we should multiply the weight of rider divided by beam divisions by 2. 
then that will be the rider constant. This one is an important factor for your theory and MCQ both case. So must be remind to calculate rider constant. And how can you calculate rider constant? This is important factor to see that zero place of place of zero. If zero is at the left, then we should multiply it by two. But if zero is at the middle, then we, we, we will not multiply this result. That means weight of rider divided by beam division by two. Okay. Now we discuss. Now I discuss with you a mathematical problem. So students, now I want to discuss with you a mathematical problem. A student wants to prepare a solution of sodium sulfate. So he placed 3 10 gram, 2 5 gram, 3 2 gram, 1 1 gram, 1 500 milligram, 2 50 milligram, 2 20 milligram on the right pen of Paul Bungi balance. Now you have seen here one word is Paul Bungi balance. The 5 milligram rider is placed on the small 5 marks. This is 5 milligram after big 3 marks. Small 5 marks after big 3 marks. What will be the weight of sodium sulfate? Why I underlined Paul Bungi balance? Because in my previous discussion I told you that in Paul Bungi balance 0 is placed at the left. So if 0 is placed at the left then you know how can we calculate rider constant. That time we should multiply the result of weight of rider divided by beam division into 2. So this one is an important segment. This one is an important segment that in Paul Bungi balance we should multiply the to calculate rider constant we should multiply the weight of rider divided by beam division into 2. Then uh, second underline is 5 milligram rider. That means weight of rider here is 5 milligram. And is placed on the small 5 marks after big 3 marks. So now we, uh, now I discuss with you about the mathematical problem. And I solve this problem to calculate the weight of sodium sulfate. So students now I uh, this, uh, calculate the weight of sodium sulfate. First of all, we should calculate the rider constant. The rider constant will be 5 by 100 into 2. Why 5 by 100? Because it is Paul Bungi balance and in my previous discussion, I have told you that in Paul Bungi balance, there are 100 small division and in the question, the weight of rider is given 5. And in Paul Bungi balance, as 0 placed in is at the left, so we should uh, multiply this result by 2. So it is 5 by 100 into 2 milligram, that means 0 0.1 milligram equal to 0 0.001 gram. The marks crossed by the rider equal to as it is 3 big, big 3 marks, so 3 into 10 plus 5 small marks, so 5 equal to 35. The weight of sodium sulfate. It is 3, 10 gram, that means 30 to 5 gram, that means it is 10, then 6, then 1, that means it is gram and 500 plus 100 plus 40 milligram plus 35 into rider constant. The result is 47 gram and this is 0 0.64 gram and this is, is 35 into 0 0.001 gram. So the total result is 47.6435 gram. That means in this way we calculate the weight of sodium sulfate. So students I think you have clear that how can we calculate or how can we measure a chemical substance by using Paul Bungi balance. So this is the way to calculate any chemical substance properly by Paul Bungi balance. But uh, nowadays for the haphazard of rider rider and uh, Paul Bungi balance that means uh, chemical balance with rider is manual and is now absolute due to the fact that taking weight is troublesome.
that's why now electronic digital balance is used so uh, my today's discussion i think all of you are clear about paul bungi balance about rider about rider constant and about chemical balance and why we use chemical balance in laboratory now i give you two small homework i think all of you can do it so now i give you two homework if the weight of rider is 5 mg beam division is equal to 100 zero is at the left then calculate the value of rider constant number 2 if the weight of rider is 10 mg beam division is equal to 50 zero is at the middle then calculate the value of rider constant okay students today is no more all of you will remain fine in your house goodbye